morning, welcome to my next video log. Because we're coming up to the end of semester, I thought it'd be really worth talking about uh, our end of semester reports. And we've been doing a lot of work on our end of semester reports in terms of how they look, but also uh, what information we share with parents. And today uh, I'm joined by Mr. Smith, Director of Learning, who has been um, working on all of these report changes. And uh, he's going to spend a little bit of time with me today talking through with you what you're going to see on your children's new reports. Thanks Mr Oates. We've made some um, significant changes to the reports. Um, mainly the format is going to be changed so you're going to see that straight away. Um, but when you open your report online you'll also see a number of changes including um, um, an effort grade, an overall grade and a summary page. And we'll explain all that in just a brief minute. So you can see the front page of the report is um, similar to what you've seen previously. We've had a bit of a style change, but the first page here shows you an English report. The English report here for John Smith shows some fairly standard coursework, some attitude and management, but more importantly down here there are two additions to our reporting format this year. The effort grade which we'll have Mr Oates talk about in a minute, and the overall grade, which is a grade which is obtained by averaging out the coursework grade. There will be a home group report, it will look similar to this, but another addition to our reporting is the overall summary on the second last page. The second last page will show all of the subjects that were taken, all the overall results that were obtained, and also the effort grades in a one-page snapshot. The last page is just showing you the kinds of grades that were obtained and how to read the effort grade and the management reports. During the last week of uh, this term, there'll, there'll be an email sent home telling you that the reports are ready online. To access the reports online, you need to go to Bill and I'll Connect, and then you need to press the Parent Lounge tab, and then you'll be straight into Parent Lounge. On that front page of Parent Lounge, you'll be able to see a tab that says Semester 1 Reports. It's here that you can also access progressive reporting. Progressive reporting, there's a few more buttons to click through, but there is a, an instructional video online on Burnock Connect that you can access and have a look at how to access that progressive reporting. Thanks, Mr. Smith. As Mr. Smith mentioned, um, for the first time this semester, we're going to be um, providing parents with an indication of uh, teachers' views about how hard their students are working, which in the end will be reported as the effort grade. And so with these effort grades, I'm very keen to, um, in an appropriate way, reward students who've worked hard during the semester. And it's through this desire that I've created what I've called the principles list. Now, the principles list will be accessible for all students in years 7 through to 12. And what the principles list will do will recognise students' uh, hard work. And at the end of each semester, students will be presented with a principles list award at an assembly which will be recognition of their hard work during the semester. So thanks for um, watching my third video log. Um, thank you for your feedback as well. Uh, it's been great to hear from parents who've really enjoyed uh, this new format of um, my newsletter article. So when you have the opportunity to look through your son or daughter's reports, I'd really encourage you to sit with them and talk with them about the reporting that they've received from their teachers. I think that conversation between parents and children is a very, very important part of um, what is a summative report. So thanks very much, and um, I look forward to spending some time with you next time.